how are you fine sir so could you please introduce yourself sir thanks for giving me this opportunity sir myself prab shetty pradeep i am from mahbooba district recently i completed my graduation in the stream of bsc fisheries after my graduation i have joined in the wikip software solutions now i am getting trained in devops aws and azure so man how many projects you have done so okay. far three projects sir so could you explain me the and what are the uh, issues you have faced in by doing those projects uh, during first project uh, i was little bit confused in ami using okay. ami image okay. so at that time i have i, I launched three or four different uh, instances and uh, i have installed tomcat there okay later i have uh, considered with the lab coordinators they have given me hint after that i used ami and i resolved that problem problem okay fine so could you please explain the third project what in, are the, the hurdles uh, and how do you overcome with this uh, hurdle uh, in the third project we are building a uh, automation of images sir okay what images building docker images mm-hmm. with automation uh, if you not use automation mm-hmm. it will build single time only if you did manually mm-hmm. if you do automation mm-hmm. how many times we, uh, we will build means it will be continuously building mm-hmm. if we did it manually mm-hmm. only one time is the pipeline will be worked for building that docker image mm-hmm. could you please explain the docker uh, file yes sir in the place of from we will take uh, always the docker file starts with uh, caps and from in the from we will use base image name here uh, after that we will use uh, label label mm-hmm. means uh, here we will use uh, maintainer name and uh, version name mm-hmm. uh, run in the place of run we will use linux command like apt update if and why mm-hmm. and we will use work dir mm-hmm. uh, when i launch the uh, image and container mm-hmm. at that time it will take us to the, the directory okay work dir and expose okay. in the place of expose uh, we will use that uh, port numbers okay and then uh, entry point okay. in the entry point if we given any command it will won't it won't be rewritten okay uh, in the place of uh, cmd we can overwrite the command okay add user okay. by using the uh, adding the users we can uh, add the user to the group okay how to build an image docker build iphone it image name latest okay uh, what is the docker working processor if we build and run the command will be taken by the cli command line in, uh, interface and that will send that command to the remote api the remote api search in the daemon if the daemon uh, doesn't have that image the D, the daemon will send that command to the dockerhub.com and it will pull the image from the there and build the container fine what are the top of, what are the uh, volumes we have in docker uh, in in docker we have three types of volumes mm-hmm. sir named volumes mm-hmm. anonymous volumes mm-hmm. bind volumes mm-hmm. anonymous volumes means without the name uh, volume is created mm-hmm. named value means uh, in the instance itself we will in the docker it type uh, in the docker only we will build that okay in case of bind volumes we will create one uh, uh, directory and we will attach this uh, binary volume to uh, bind volume to that directory okay in the in the named volume we will give a name to the volume okay what are types of uh, networking we have there are three types of networks sir uh, host network bridge network okay. null network okay uh, bridge network is the default network uh, if we want to communicate with the both containers we, uh, the ip address will be changed in the host network the host will give single uh, ip address for communicating with multiple uh, containers but okay. in case of bridge network uh, ip address will be little bit be changed but okay. communication will be continued in that so what is stop. yeah fine what is git git is an version control system sir it is free source op- open source free to use what is mean by open source open source means free to use uh, with the source code they will provide us okay fine um, what is stash present uh, i am working on one project sir suddenly i have uh, got problem in the production so i have uh, i can't delete this project so at that time i will use git stash git stash is a temporary area where we store the present working uh, Uh, data and we will continue to our production work and we will after solving that by using git stash and uh, we can get back that okay, fine